Have you ever pondered the impact of ocean pollution on marine life? Imagine the vast expanse of the ocean teeming with life. Now imagine over one million seabirds vanishing from this ecosystem every year. That's right, over one million seabirds perish annually, their lives snuffed out by the insidious killer we call ocean pollution. But it doesn't stop there. The silent killer claims more victims. 300,000 dolphins and porpoises each year fall prey to discarded fishing nets and lines. These harmless looking remnants of human activity become death traps for these intelligent marine creatures. They get entangled, unable to free themselves, they drown or succumb to injuries. Each loss is a blow to the intricate balance of marine life. Imagine the fear and confusion of a dolphin caught in a ghost net, struggling for survival. Think about the seabird, diving for a meal, only to ingest lethal plastic. These scenarios play out daily in our oceans, and these creatures pay the ultimate price for our negligence. The ocean, a world of beauty and mystery, is slowly turning into a graveyard, its inhabitants falling victim to the silent onslaught of pollution. Every piece of plastic, every discarded net, contributes to this unfolding tragedy. These are not just numbers, but lives. Lives that matter, lives that contribute to the biodiversity of our planet. Each seabird, each dolphin, each porpoise has a role to play in the vast theatre of marine life. And their loss is a loss for us all. The ocean is a mirror reflecting our attitude towards nature. It shows us the consequences of our actions, the result of our indifference. So let these staggering statistics be a wake-up call. We are at a crossroads, and the path we choose will determine the fate of our oceans and the life they nurture. This is just a glimpse of the damage. The reality is even more alarming. Did you know that the largest oceanic garbage site is twice the size of Texas? That's right. The North Pacific Gyre, located off the coast of California, holds that dubious distinction. This swirling vortex of ocean currents collects our discarded items and transforms them into a floating monstrosity of waste. Imagine a swirling soup, teeming with plastic bottles, bags, fishing nets, and countless other remnants of our throwaway culture. This is the reality of the North Pacific Gyre, a silent testament to our society's love affair with disposables. But what does this mean for marine life and the environment? The impact is devastating. Creatures of the sea, from the smallest plankton to the largest whales, are ingesting these toxic materials. They mistake our garbage for food, leading to malnutrition, poisoning and death. Not only does this affect the health of individual animals, but it also disrupts entire ecosystems. As one species declines, the effects ripple out, altering food chains and habitats. The consequences can be far-reaching and unpredictable, affecting not just our oceans, but also our land and our skies. Meanwhile, the garbage island continues to grow, fueled by humanity's relentless production of trash. Every year, we generate over 1.3 billion tons of waste, much of it winding up in places like the North Pacific Gyre. It's a stark reminder of the hidden costs of our consumption habits. Our oceans are not our dump sites. They are complex living systems that deserve our respect and protection. It's not just physical waste. Noise pollution is an unseen but equally destructive culprit. Let's dive into the unseen side of ocean pollution. Imagine a bustling city filled with the clamor of honking cars, chattering crowds, and the relentless hum of machinery. Now transport that noise underwater. This is the reality for many marine animals, particularly whales and dolphins, who are dealing with an increasing amount of sound pollution. Ships, sonar devices and oil rigs produce a cacophony of noise that infiltrates the once serene underwater environment. But why is this a problem? Well, marine animals rely heavily on sound. They use it to communicate, to navigate, to hunt, and even to find a mate. But the man-made noise pollution is throwing off their delicate balance. Imagine trying to have a conversation at a rock concert. Not easy, right? That's what it's like for these animals trying to communicate amidst the cacophony. Their calls, their songs, their signals all get lost in the noise. Moreover, the noise pollution can also disrupt their migration patterns. Whales and dolphins follow specific routes guided by the natural sounds of the ocean. But when those sounds are drowned out, they can lose their way, leading to devastating consequences. And let's not forget about the impact on hunting and reproduction. The constant noise can scare away prey, making hunting more challenging. It can also interfere with mating calls, disrupting the reproduction process. 
Silence is a necessity for the survival of these magnificent creatures. Human activity is the primary contributor to this crisis. That's right, we're the ones to blame. We, the human race, generate a staggering 1.3 billion tons of waste every year. The United States, in particular, leads this pack, producing more refuse than any other country on the planet. That's an astounding 254 million tons of trash each year. And what happens to all this waste? Well, much of it finds its way into our oceans, sullying the pristine waters and wreaking havoc on marine life. But it's not just surface pollution we need to worry about. Researchers have unearthed alarming findings. Even the deepest, remotest parts of the ocean aren't immune to our impact. They've detected extremely high levels of toxic industrial pollutants, a testament to our far-reaching influence. In the words of the famed marine conservationist Jacques-Yves Cousteau, we have turned our precious water and air into global garbage cans. The question is, what can we do about it? The answer is, plenty. It all starts with a conscious decision to curb our consumption habits, particularly when it comes to single-use plastics. Seek alternatives like reusable shopping bags, water bottles and straws. Next, recycling isn't just a buzzword, it's a necessity. Make it a habit to sort your waste and recycle whenever you can. This simple act can significantly reduce the amount of trash that ends up in our oceans. And lastly, let's not forget about the power of collective action. There are numerous organizations out there devoted to cleaning our oceans and protecting marine life. Your support, be it through volunteering, donations, or simply spreading the word, can make a world of difference. The oceans are crying out for our help, and it's about time we listened. Remember, every small action counts. Together, we can restore the health of our oceans.